So I would want nothing more than an Empire 2 Total War. I really hope one day we get it, cause A, original Empire is quite broken in vanilla, and B, a new global Total War would just be an amazing thing to see. Until then though, what we have is tons of beautiful mods for Empire Total War, including Darth Mod, it's very well known for its changes to AI, Imperial Destroyer for its new regions, Empire 2 Mod of course for the sheer amount of content it adds, and dozens of others just like these. But there is one mod I have not covered yet that is super underrated and that for many people is simply the best. From the campaign start dates of 1700, 1772, or the 1703 Great Northern War. From the updated unit rosters that don't feel too bloated, but definitely are balanced on the battle side of things, to giving you flexibility to choose battle AI behavior, smoke, sound effects, formations, and even a chance to use the expanded regions that Imperial Destroyer adds to the campaign map. PUA, or Pirates Uber Alice, gives you a ton of variety and dynamism to Empire that for me is probably the best I've ever seen for the game. And best of all, compared to the Empire 2 mod, which is arguably its closest counterpart, it is relatively bug and crash free, which is super important. Pirates Uber Alice, for the amount of content that it adds to the game, the modders have managed to create an incredible balance of replayability, authentic unit rosters and visuals, challenging AI, and additional features of course like the Vedance Disease mod that adds dynamic events to the game. Being able to do all of this on a game as old and buggy as Empire, and better than any other mods available without any bug and crash issues is just, it's so impressive to me. And how they've done it is through meticulous design step by step so that the player genuinely feels like everything that's been overhauled here has been done for a specific positive reason. A vast array of issues bogs down Vanilla Empire, you and I both know it, everyone knows it, and makes it one of the most dated games in the Total War series, hence why I'd love to see an Empire 2. And every time I go back to play Empire, in Vanilla especially, I have to just, I personally give up after a few turns. But with mods like these, I'm reminded it can be a very fun time. And while there are always going to be issues here and there, of course, with hard-coded parameters and lines of code that cannot be touched, PUA offers a unique overhaul effort. It enhances the gameplay in ways that are memorable and are the best, in my opinion, out of all the available mods out there. So the first main selling point to me when I played Pirates Uber Alice is the launcher and the sheer number of customization options for your campaign. Despite listening to community feedback and of course improving their mods, modders can often be sticklers to the changes they make and not give as many customization options as are present here, but with PUA, they've given you so much flexibility and presented it in a way that doesn't really overwhelm you. You've got options here for battle AI, battle realism, smoke effects, formation types. You can choose to enable VDM or not, depending on your style. You can actually choose to play with the extra regions that Imperial Splendor team added to the game or not. It's up to you. And you can choose the availability of factions, either the standard roster, the expanded roster, which has brand new tailored factions or all factions unlocked, which is a really great option to have. Now, let's be real here. This is a feature that is insanely underrated, people. A lot of mods out there, major overhaul mods, don't give you this much flexibility, so to have these options is really special. I, for one, would love to have this type of launcher for other big mods on other games, like Divide and Impera on Rome 2, Ancient Empires, or MK1212 on Attila. These mods would really benefit from having these kinds of options and customizations, and they are the major changes and systems in bigger mods 
mods that often don't all fit to everyone's liking. So to be given the opportunity to pick and choose is a really decent effort by the modders of PUA and should be highly praised. The second main selling point of the mod, especially compared to other mods like it, looking at you, Empire 2, is that it's relatively stable and bug free. Pirates Uberalis adds a ton of content, as we can see from the launcher alone, but of all the mods out there, it's literally also the most stable available, which is just mind boggling. How is it possible that a mod with so much additional content, faction and unit roster overhauls, loads of new start dates, how does this all run so smoothly? Well, it's simple. The modders have been working on this for nearly a decade and non-stop. They've been releasing updates all the time. Every new piece of content, every update was and still is tested thoroughly to iron out as many bugs and issues as possible and add the content without breaking other features in the game as well. Mods like Darth Mod or Empire 2 especially just don't do this well enough. And I think with mods for Empire, it's probably the number one reason why most people are put off. With PUA, you don't need that kind of patience anymore. Things are well done enough and run smoothly enough to just get on with it and have a really fun time. That being said, of course, there are a few things I'm not a massive fan of. I want to make this as honest a review as possible. Every mod does good things, and some less than desirable things as well, and PUA is no exception. With PUA, one of the issues is the balance between historical accuracy and gameplay. I love history. I love to play historically accurate, or at least authentic campaigns and battles, no matter what I'm playing. But with Empire, many mods, including PUA especially, can go a little bit overboard in this at the expense of gameplay. As the Ottomans, for example, you'll find provinces like Moldova or Greece are constantly revolting, which is what happened in history, and I understand they're trying to make it as realistic and challenging as possible for me, but at a certain point it just gets really, really annoying, and that's just one example, of course. In battles, you have a similar situation with unit accuracy. Now, unit rosters are quite balanced with clear strengths and weaknesses between nations, that makes sense, but when it comes down to an early game musket on musket battle, you will take ages. With accuracy percentages of 2-5%, to it's a slog and I just can't be bothered. Most mods do this, unfortunately, and yes, with technology with better units or units with battle experience, accuracy does increase, but especially early game, it means you rely a lot more on melee combat, which for a game that doesn't really prioritize melee combat very well, is also just not a very fun experience. Battles are great, don't get me wrong. I love the unit visuals, I love the sound and smoke effects, I do like what's here, and to be quite fair to the mod, there are, as I said, options in the launcher to help with some of these grievances I personally had. But still, it's a fine balance between historical realism and fun, and I would say there's still a bit of work to be done here. It has to be said though, the one area I have to praise is the AI. I often find Darth Mod is the best at making the AI seem more proactive and aggressive and not as brain dead essentially, but PUA for me has dethroned Darth. Both the campaign and the battle AIs do a lot compared to vanilla that stands out and often surprises me. Whether it's diplomatic offers that makes more sense, defensive garrison armies that make conquering more difficult, or actually fighting lines of infantry in battles rather than often charging enemy, which can get quite annoying, and all of this does make the mod quite a bit more challenging as well, which is especially nice compared to how easy Vanilla Empire can be. With a more active AI attacking you both on land and at sea, you have to risk reward, decide on your tech progression, what regions to defend, how to build your economy and set up decent alliances. I've even been in situations where I need to trade away a region to have a buffer state or to maintain friendly relations because I don't want to have wars on multiple fronts. This is DEI level AI and complexity, which I really, really like. Pirates Uberalis has pretty much everything you would want from a mod. It is a jack of all trades. It really maximizes what you can do on Empire. And barring a couple of issues here and there, there is super genuine effort here to make Empire simply a better game, presented in a way that gives you flexibility and is still being updated to this day. 
Compared to other mods out there, it's probably the more underrated and yet the better of the bunch, which, given I praise every mod, may not be saying too much, but honestly, that's what trying out new mods is all about. You often find something that did something better, is more polished, and just a fun time. PUA is that mod for me right now, so if you're going to pick up Empire for a new campaign and you're looking for a well-designed, well-made, challenging and authentic mod to elevate the game, Pirates Uber Alice is definitely the one to go for. Installation is super easy as well. I know it can be a little intimidating, but all you do is uninstall Empire Total War, and how you do that is delete the Empire Total War folder and the scripts folder and app data. That basically hard resets anything on your computer related to the game. Then reinstall Empire Total War and launch the game and start a campaign to create the default script, and then exit the game. Then download the main PUA mod file from the ModDB page, I've linked that below for you in the video description. And download and install the desktop fix file from ModDB for the patches. Only the patch fix desktop is essential here, the other two files are submods which cannot be installed together at the same time, so just ignore those. And finally, go to Empire Total War folder, Data, Pirates, then click on the launcher to launch the PUA mod launcher, making sure to run it as administrator. Click on PUA settings to bring up the customization options where you'll pick and choose what you like and launch the game. For your first campaign, I'd probably recommend the default settings, which is also the modder's recommendation as well. And I would play on normal, though if you're a hardened veteran of the series, you'll probably handle higher difficulties just fine. And that's it for today, guys. I've dropped links below to the Mod DB page where you can download Pirates Uber Alice and, of course, the Discord server as well, where you can ask questions, be informed about future updates, and even potentially set up multiplayer campaigns, which I've heard is possible, though I haven't tried it myself yet. This video has been my review of the Pirates Uber Alice mod for Empire Total War. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, give it a like, drop any comments or questions in the comment section below, and subscribe. Subscribe for more Total War content and mod spotlights just like this. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.